Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Saturday morning. It's half past ten. I've literally just woken up about ten minutes ago. Lee and Brendan have gone to a Warhammer shop. Because Brendan's decided now he's got some money he can do some more stuff with his Warhammer. Um, all of a sudden my face feels swollen. I don't think it is. But this eye just feels like it's all obstructed. Must have been where I was lay in the night. And I woke up with that tracking thing going on. Which meant I woke up dizzy when I needed a wee at about 3 o'clock in the, in the night. I'm feeling a bit rubbish today. Definitely feeling not myself. Um, Kenzie's making me a nice cup of tea. And I'll have a banana. And then I ought to think about putting something on. And I'm going to do very little today. I'm going to hopefully finish my puzzle. I'm going to read for a minute while I drink my tea. And wrap presents. But yeah, plan on doing very, very little today. I might get out of these pyjamas and put on some other pyjamas for the day. But yeah, this oh, this feels really irritating. It feels like it's getting in the way of my vision. Yet it doesn't look swollen when I look in the camera. That's weird. Big parcel arrived. It's the boys' new pillows that I ordered on Thursday. They come quite quickly. I can't get into the bag though because it's very tightly packed. I have no idea how they got it in there. I mean... Maybe they come vacuum packed like that already and they just stick a label on them. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Right, so these need to be left to puff up a bit. Uh, they're quilted, hypoallergenic. They are, they're puffing up already. I wanted some decent, you know, good pillows. Um, they are hollow fibre, so they're not, they're not, you know, plucked from gooseys poor goosies yeah these are popping up nicely now so I got two each for the boys so they can put a pillowcase on each of those and they can dispose of their old ones oh that one's got some grub on it hmm that's a bit annoying but yeah I think they're going to be good it's how long they last in the long run though because I find we get pillows that we think are really good and then they don't tend to be so good but these I'll put a link in the description below if you're looking for new pillows um they were a good good price i think they were 20 for four i think 21 or something for four um on amazon and they've i mean we have prime delivery but they were here like in two days and they're from adam home is the make quilted hypoallergenic for pillows yeah look that's they've puffed up nicely <laughs> That's huge. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put them in the boys' room and they can put their pillowcases on. And I'll, I'll get them to say tomorrow how it felt sleeping on those. Yeah, two pillows. I mean, one of those might have done. It's going to be huge, isn't it? Oh well, we'll see.
triple A's. We don't have those, I don't think. Grr. Asked to come out, and you're walking better. That's good. Are you feeling better? Oh, he's walking better. Uh, no, this is calcium. Was fine. Um, it was the heat, I think. Sup, my good buddy. You've got sand around your mouth. Looks like you've got lipstick on. He's fabulous. You're making an effort for Christmas. I haven't asked to come out for months. Very often he just walked out. About to get boom dead. Yes, young one. <laughs> yes, youngling. What can I do for you? Yeah. Brendan, did you steal my new candy cane mask? Hey, it's a mask. It's on the mask rack. Okay, but I'll let you off. Share masks, sir. No, we have to wash them. She only puts the key ones on the little mask rack. It's so nice to see my lizard happy again and walking okay. How are the moss on the roof? The birds throw that on there from the from the actual roof of the house. It's grotty and disgusting. Lee's gone to get petrol because he drove to the petrol station and realised how expensive it was there, so he's gone up to the Asda to get petrol from the petrol station there instead. I finished my puzzle. I've wrapped all of those. I've wrapped my cousin's stuff and her kids. I've wrapped one of Brendan's there. Uh, there's Jasper's stuff. So tomorrow we've got a tractor, a uh, festive tractor rally coming through the village. So Jasper's stuff are gonna go with them because they're gonna come and stand in the front garden and watch the tractors come past. That is Lee and the boys. That's Brendan's pile of presents that he's put up here out the way. That's Christmas food. This is stuff that is yet to be wrapped and on the top is part of Lee's birthday present for after Christmas. Uh, but I've run out of wrapping paper. Oh, and that's my dad's. But yeah, I've run out of wrapping paper, so I've just ordered some more. Are you going to go and find your decoration? You put it on there. I have hid Bruce, Bruce in the tree. Bruce is in the tree. He's in the tree. You've got Bruce to find him though. Bruce is in the tree. Hello, my name is. I'm not that Bruce. Not that Bruce. Yippee yay, Mother Hubbard, yeah? Yes, that Bruce. That Bruce. Is it Bruce. a Christmas film? Is it not a Christmas it film? It is a Christmas film. It's set at Christmas. It was shown at Christmas. And Christmas doesn't start until Hans Gruber falls from Nakatomi Plaza. Okay, well, stop hello. talking, start searching. Hello, Mr. Cowboy. You have to find Bruce, he is hidden in the tree. This is a decoration that Lee made. Where are you? Ah, I see him. You see I him? I see him. I see I see Bruce. There he is, look, he's crawling through the little, what is it, air vents? Yeah. Lee made that. 
That's his Christmas decoration, and you I hide it in the tree each year. You spend thousands of pounds on props just to make your own. Yeah. What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking today? It is the Christmas card from Nana Cat that you saw in yesterday's video. There we go. I have to unroll it a little bit now and put it back up on the shelf. It's not been in there all night because I was worried it would get ruined. But there you go. Nobody guessed that, I'm afraid. Nobody guessed that one. What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking today? It's like that is your clue. I'll give you another clue. You might have it on the table uh, during your Christmas dinner. And we need to do, let's turn this light on to get a bit more light on the subject. What's the date, people? 19th. Thank you. It's the 19th. Oh, can't see my head. It's the 19th. Let's do the Yule calendar. There is a horse, I think. It's like a festive I don't know, costume horse. Go look a bit. And it says, Christmas Day is reputed to be the one day that evil is powerless. So we should have Christmas every single day so that evil is powerless. That is my tip for you all. Christmas every day. I'm about to have a shower, but I have just had a news, a breaking news report um, that local places to us so Milton Keynes, Bedfordshire, London, are now in tier four. Didn't even know tier four existed, um, but that's basically full lockdown. Um, so from tomorrow, I think it is, they're going into full lockdown, which means this whole Christmas thing isn't happening. This whole meeting other people, which I'm kind of glad about, and I know people are not going to be glad about but I'm hoping that those people that do have their like bubbles their family bubbles if you've got like an elderly relative or a, you're a single parent or something like that that you've already got a bubble that you can be with and be part of that so you're not on your own for Christmas um, but I don't think we should be visiting further family at this time and there's obviously this mutation which is happening in the southeast and that's also a big concern so yes, those are now in tier four from tomorrow, total lockdown, um, no traveling. And the Christmas plans have now changed, which I'm really pleased about for everybody. So you can mix with three other households for Christmas day only, rather than the whole of the Christmas period, which I'm really, really pleased about. Because again, I think we would be setting ourselves up for a really big disaster in the new year. So I think that's very wise. I know they're gonna get a lot of backlash for it, but I do think it's very wise. This year, we just have to buck up, I'm afraid. Just gotta buck up and just accept the fact that some things are bigger than what we want. And that's what it is. So I'm gonna go and get the shower now and then I will do a bit of editing and see actually what footage I have taken today because I don't know. I've just been really lazy. While I'm thinking about it, come and join me tomorrow at four o'clock for a live stream playing Bray's Days. It's a little bit like last week's in that it's sort of Pictionary style. The cards will already be pre-drawn though, so you don't have to put up with my terrible attempts at drawing. You'll be pleased to know. Four o'clock UK time, PM, not in the morning. That hour does not exist in my life four o'clock in the afternoon UK time well my lovelies I think I should probably say good night there's nothing else that's really going to happen right now we're going to watch a new program which we have had recommended to us called con no con con counter counterpart count counterpart it's uh to do with two earths apparently and one sets a virus loose on the other or something along those lines which you know is kind of a little bit on point isn't it at the moment so yeah i think we'll we'll do that what is it about watching things about viruses and pandemics and disaster when you're in the midst of one <laughs> i don't know what it is i don't know if it makes us feel better or you know things could be worse because look it could be as bad as it is in these things where you know it's it's even worse than we're living in i <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. But we just, I don't know. It's just, 
I don't know. I'm going to have to stop saying that. Right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Lovely lot. And I will see you all tomorrow.